All right, I've been learning about this occlusion training or blood flow restriction training. And it's uh, it's about putting like a, a strap on your, your arm and restricting that blood flow for exercise. I didn't do any exercise today, so this is a cold flex. But I'm just showing that uh, I, I can use any, you can use any strap and put it on there. And I haven't really tried it, but I want to talk about my comparisons to the stick training because it's so strange the way my stick training is working out. Uh, sometimes I'll lose blood flow to my hands as I'm stick training. I'm not sure why that is exactly. It happens every so often. I'll just I'll just be walking with the sticks, and and then my hands just start losing blood flow. And so then I just, I have to like, maybe put both sticks in one hand and then straighten out the arm. And then I start getting the blood flow back. And it's just like maybe 10 seconds or so, uh, I get the blood flow back a little bit and then I continue exercising. And when, when I hear about this occlusion training or blood flow restriction, I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm losing blood flow in my hands as I'm as I'm stick walking. What's the deal with that? I don't have any straps on my my arms. I'm just straight up losing blood flow every so often, and 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 it's like I don't know if it's because of the bend in the elbow or or the type of pressure I'm putting as I'm as I'm uh, driving my hands into the ground every step, and there's something going on there. Uh, I, it started out mostly in my left hands, and it resulted, uh, I also got the tennis elbow really bad in this left elbow until I started doing more pull-ups with, uh, with the sticks, more pull-ups. So then uh, I started reversing that strength and balance and then uh, taking away the elbow pin. I can, I can hold a tight fist extends it feels a little tight but it's not painful i just got to do more pull-ups and that straightens that out so it's tennis elbow seems to be a strength and balance but this blood flow restriction idea seems very interesting i'm already losing blood flow every so often and is that contributing to uh, to my massive forearm gains or what i'm not sure but i could take it a step further and actually use a strap to to, to train with a little bit with uh, the stick training because they suggest that you don't you don't use a full uh, your full max you only use 20 to 30 percent of your max and that's about uh, right for stick training stick training uh, depending on the size of the stick I got some super thick ones over here I don't know if I can I gotta really I keep my stack over there my super thick right here six feet six eight footers and just going uh with stick six feet but extra thick where i can't even press the fingers together and they're they're pretty nice and tight um so that's a heavy a fairly heavy load that increases the load at least for walking and and it makes uh like this 20 to 30 percent of your max whatever lift curling and pressing down uh, a more of a reality for this type of training so it's interesting I'm thinking I might want to try it I think I might have another strap in my car somewhere I could just use because it's kind of easy one-handed just tighten tighten it up or uh, yeah, loosen it up for that type of training but then furthermore I'm like well I've gotten a lot of good results using magnets and I was trying to find um, I actually sewed some magnets into a strap, but I don't know where it is. These were not sewed in, but I'm like, I could embed magnets into the cuff, just get another, get another uh, strap, and then I could sew around, sew the magnets into the cuff up until the point where you gotta, I have to give some slack for the tightening and loosening of this cut it maybe here and then uh, 
so maybe five five of these super strong magnets into the cuff and wear that that will mess with blood flow because I've gotten many good results with magnet therapy just with pain various pains it's like the theory is with magnets is they make water wetter so I uh, and then in the car they talk about gas mileage with the cars it makes gas more fluid well, it can make blood more fluid too. It affects the blood. But I mean, I've I've been finding based on experience that magnets seem to focus more on nerves. And like when my shoulder hurts, put some magnets there. When I get heartburn, put magnets there. Uh, but I mean, there's there's probably some effect of the blood flow as well. And you could probably put some magnets in the uh, the B the the B the blood flow restriction, the BFR cuff. I'm not sure how much they cost, these, these BFR cuffs. I didn't even look that up, but I'm sure they're like 50 bucks. <laughs> All you need is, is a little one inch strap for your arms. And then you probably want to get a thicker, a wider strap for your legs. Because there's people who use it on the inner part of their, their legs uh, to affect their butt. And I just watched this one lady, this young lady show uh, before and after of, of her butt uh, with uh, using the, the BFR, her, her BFR straps. And they look like they're about two inch wide straps. And, and it, there's a remarkable difference. She's restricting blood flow to her butt and then doing the various leg exercises. And you don't, you don't do curls and arm workouts with the straps around your legs. I think that's pretty obvious. But I like this idea. It's really, uh, it's really exciting. I actually originally bought straps for suspension training, but I am not that motivated. I, I really can't find anchor points. That's been such a frustration for me. Anchor points. So I've largely given up this, uh, this uh, suspension training, TRX training stuff, and I have these carryover straps from those days and i've been throwing these straps out every so often try slowly because i'm like wait a second i might want to use the strap for something else and now with this bfr training it's become now these straps have become uh a little bit more valuable again i gotta find them and then i got a lot of magnets magnets have always been has have always been a very good re uh, uh therapy um Ever since I got them, I have not been let down with magnet therapy, but I have been let down with uh, suspension training. But I'm, I'm kind of, in a way, I'm bringing back suspension training with sticks, with stick training instead, because I'm doing the same type of exercises, but I'm using long sticks instead of trying to find an anchor point. Where can I find an anchor point? I, I don't like to be constricted to having to find these anchor points where when uh, with stick training, walking stick training, I just get that, that same type of exercise anywhere. Just pull out the sticks anywhere I go. As long as the ground's a little, um, a little uh, rough so that the sticks plant into place. Uh, you don't want a slippery surface. That's the only, that's your only challenge. Slippery surfaces, um, yeah. So BFR training, with magnets embedded and doing it with stick training that's something i'm just thinking about right now i can't come back i'm not i'm not talking from from experience like oh here's my one year progress this is like day one i'm really i'm really interested in maybe sewing use my speedy stitcher in the bag and sewing up some sewing some magnets into the strap and and trying this BFR slash magnet training for the arms. See if that can get, see if that can get these 17 inches to 18 where they need to be, where they belong.